The first earthquake occurred around 2 a.m. on December 16, 1811 in northeastern Arkansas. Estimates place the magnitude of this earthquake around 8.1, and it was followed within hours by another shock nearly as strong as the first. All through the night, the region was shaken. When dawn brought light, the townspeople found the air clouded by a reddish haze and the landscape changed forever. In the following two months, the region would experience three more major earthquakes and almost 2,000 aftershocks. On January 23, 1812, another shock estimated at 7.8 occurred. As people stumbled into the night, they saw flashes of light emanating from the ground. Many found themselves navigating through fallen trees, wading through sand and water, or stumbling into crevices that had opened in the ground. The Mississippi River rocked back and forth, tossing boats onto shores which themselves were crumbling into the river. It was nothing short of a living nightmare. On February 7, 1812, the strongest shock yet rocked the town of New Madrid so violently that it finally fell away into the river, joining the fates of several other settlements. The river itself ran backwards, and in Tennessee a great forest suddenly became a vast lake. The ground was seen rolling like the swells of an ocean. When the swell peaked, great fissures opened in the ground, some of them running for hundreds of feet. 1,300 miles away in Boston, Massachusetts, church bells rang out in response to the shaking, and in Washington, D.C., James Madison, the sitting president of the United States, was awakened from his sleep while the White House shook.